James Sheridan Knowles, the 12th of May 1784 to the 30th of November 1862, was an Irish dramatist and actor. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> Knowles was born in Cork. His father was the lexicographer James Knowles, 1759-1840, cousin of Richard Brinsley Sheridan. The family moved to London in 1793, and at the age of 14 Knowles published a ballad entitled The Welsh Harper, which, set to music, was very popular. His talents secured him the friendship of William Hazlitt, who introduced him to Charles Lamb and Samuel Taylor Coleridge. He served for some time in the Wiltshire and afterwards in the Tower Hamlets militia, leaving the service to become a pupil of Dr Robert Willen he obtained the degree of M.D., and was appointed vaccinator to the Genarian Society. Although Dr. Willen offered him a share in his practice, Knowles decided to give up medicine for the stage, making his first appearance as an actor probably at Bath, and played Hamlet at the Crow Theatre, Dublin. At Wexford, he married, in October 1809, Maria Charteris, an actress from the Edinburgh Theatre. In 1810 he wrote Leo, a successful play in which Edmund Keane appeared. Another play, Brian Boroim, written for the Belfast Theatre in the next year, attracted crowds. Nevertheless, Knowles's earnings were so small that he was obliged to become assistant to his father at the Belfast Academical Institution. In 1817 he moved from Belfast to Glasgow, where, besides keeping a flourishing school, he continued to write for the stage. His first important success was Keys Gracchus, produced at Belfast in 1815, and his Virginius, written for William Charles Macready, was first performed in 1820 at Covent Garden. In William Tell 1825, Knowles wrote for Macready one of his favourite parts. His best-known play, The Hunchback, was produced at Covent Garden in 1832, and Knowles won praise acting in the work as Master Walter. The Wife was brought out at the same theatre in 1833, and The Love Chase in 1837. In his later years he forsook the stage for the pulpit, and as a Baptist preacher attracted large audiences at Exeter Hall and elsewhere. He published two polemical works, The Rock of Rome and The Idol demolished by its own priests in both of which he combated the special doctrines of the Roman Catholic Church. Knowles was for some years in the receipt of an annual pension of £200, bestowed by Sir Robert Peel in 1849. In old age he befriended the young Edmund Goss, whom he introduced to Shakespeare. Knowles makes a happy appearance in Goss's father and son. He died at Torquay on the 30th of November 1862. He is buried under a huge tomb at the summit of the Glasgow Necropolis. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> <inaudible> a full list of the works of Knowles and of the various notices of him will be found in the Life of James Sheridan Knowles, 1872 privately printed by his son, Richard Brinsley Knowles who was well known as a journalist. It was translated into German. Works Plays Leo, or, The Gypsy 1810. Brian Boroim, or, The Maid of Erin 1811. Keys Gracchus 1815. Virginius 1820, A Tragedy in Five Acts William Tell 1825. The Beggar's Daughter of Bethnal Green 1828. Alfred the Great, or The Patriot King 1831. The Hunchback 1832. A Mask in one act and in verse on the death of Sir Walter Scott 1832. The Wife, A Tale of Mantover 1833. The Beggar of Bethnal Green 1834. The Daughter 1837. The Love Chase 1837. Woman's Wit, or, Love's Disguises 1838. The Maid of Mariendorpt 1838. Love 1839. John of Procida, or, The Bridals of Messina 1840. Old Maids 1841. The Rose of Aragon 1842. 
the Secretary 1843, The Bridal 1847, an adaptation of The Maid's Tragedy Alexina, or, True Unto Death 1866. <laughs> <laughs> Novels and short stories The Magdalene and Other Tales 1832. Fortescue 1847. George Lovell 1852. Old Adventures 1859. Tales and Novelettes etc. 1874. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Poetry. A collection of poems on various subjects 1810. Fugitive Pieces. The Senate, or Social Villages of Kentish Town, a canto 1817. Topic: <inaudible> Theological Writings. The Rock of Rome, or The Arch Heresy, 1849. The Idol Demolished by Its Own Priest, 1852, an answer to Cardinal Wiseman's lectures on transubstantiation. The Gospel attributed to Matthew in the record of the whole original apostlehood, 1855. Topic: <laughs> Nonfiction. The Elocutionist, 1831, a collection of pieces in prose and verse, peculiarly adapted to display the art of reading. A treatise on the climate of Madeira, 1850. The Debater's Handbook 1862 Lectures on Dramatic Literature 1875